new hardware. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's a different yeah. hardware. So it's not the Hollis uh, company uh, uh, we have yeah. as a supplier. So it's more like an in-house uh, development. Hardware is made uh, together with another partner, I would say, which is called uh, JTECT. And uh, uh, there was a different uh, uh, working principle with our Haldex we had uh, in the first uh, Kuga. This uh, coupling, uh, which uh, has, uh, uh, we have a uh, possibility of electrical uh, input, so we can give a, a current input. And the torque, uh, which comes out of the uh, uh, coupling, uh, can be varied uh, linearly. It can uh, give a torque uh, input and uh, the um, coupling will deliver that. Uh, it's not a viscosity, it's with uh, different plates. I have uh, uh -huh. okay. yeah, maybe uh, an open drawing. Ball, ball ramp. Yeah, yeah it's, uh, you have, it's, it's like yeah. a, um, um, a uh, friction coupling, yeah. Yeah? but okay. it's uh, filled with oil. Yeah. So, and actually you need to press uh, the plates, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. six plates, uh, which are pressed uh, together. And the more you press, the more yeah. uh, torque you can uh, transmit. And this uh, force is a clever uh, system to uh, apply this force. So you have an electrical actuator. And uh, so it pushes like a, um, a first uh, piston, if you can call it, uh, which is uh, also slightly rotated. And the rotation, it's a clever system with a uh, ball. And the ball is uh, actually sitting between a housing. And if you, yeah, if you sit like this, if you uh, uh, turn a little bit, the ball, which is in the middle, will push outwards. Yeah. So it's an amplification of the force, so you don't need to create all the force. Uh, yeah, it's amplified in a mechanical way, which is uh, actually quite, quite clever. You don't uh, need to build up the force. Uh, I think the main advantage would be uh, that uh, the torque uh, can be chosen. Uh, uh, any torque uh, can be chosen. So we can uh, linearly uh, increase torque, decrease, and we have uh, different controllers. Typically on an all-wheel drive coupling, you have uh, only uh, just a traction controller. So if the tire starts to slip or to spin, then uh, it, uh, it, it will uh, act. In this case, we can uh, control traction, but we can also use the controller during uh, maneuvering. So in handling maneuvers, your controller. And that your controller can decide to put a little bit more towards the uh, rear and not just engage the rear, but just uh, transfer maybe 10% more to the rear and give a little bit better uh, handling in that maneuver. So I think basically that's that's the, the main uh, advantage. So this, these controllers are uh, developed in-house. So they are Ford controllers given by the supplier of this uh, system. And uh, I said, yeah, there are different parts in those controllers. We have a traction part uh, so for more like straight ahead uh, driving and uh, in, in snow, for example. And we also have a handling controller, which is uh, uh, on uh, curved rows uh, used improve the handling of the car. There is, there is a, a limit uh, to yeah. the torque. Unfortunately, I don't know the, yeah, okay. the exact value of that. And uh, all, another thing you must know is that the torque is also depending on the conditions you're yeah. driving. If, for example, one wheel is in the air, you can put zero torque to the road. So the torque condition is not only depending on what you give in, but also depending on the road yeah. conditions and varying on different conditions, left, right, front, rear, you can have uh, any kind of uh, distribution. Uh, so it's, it's, it's on, really depending uh, on the and, driving and, and the whole system is, um, is getting uh, information also from only one tire? One? Yes. So it so can stop actually only one tire? No, so the, the all-wheel drive uh, uh, coupling can uh, transfer the torque from the front to the rear. Okay. We have a link between the all-wheel drive controller and the ESC system. The ESC yep. system can individually control the braking input on every tire itself. We call it intelligent all-wheel drive. That's our name we use uh, to, to uh, describe uh, this system. Is this the first car when you use the same system? This is the first car in Europe where we use this uh, particular system. So there are some in America? I'm not familiar with uh, all American products and, and, uh, and, and how the uh, development is, is there. So I'm not sure.